hello, hello, YouTube land, YouTube land. This is New Orleans Baby Girl, a.k.a. Beautiful Sunrise Williams, coming to you with another amazing recipe. Okay, so I had an idea. I was like, okay, I got some. Remember I did too much spaghetti sauce? Now, I did eat some of it with some more spaghetti uh, when I did my spaghetti casserole. Okay. Uh, but I said, oh, I overdid it. So this is an idea of use what you got to get what you want. So what I'm about to do right now is I'm about to use this leftover, leftover spaghetti sauce. And I'm going to make some cabbage rolls. How about that? So I made some rice that I'm going to use to eat with my beans that I'll be doing later on today. Or tomorrow so I have um I have the rice from that and I'm going to mix it with my spaghetti sauce okay I hope I didn't put too much rice so this is a perfect idea to Take your leftovers and make something else out of it, okay? Oh, okay. I think I'm just right. So, I'm going to mix that up a little bit more. Now, I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to do some cabbage rolls. I had some cabbage in there. And since I was doing rice already to go with my red um, actual pinto beans that I'll be doing, uh, like I said, later on today. Okay. So as you can see, I'm mixing this up. Just mixing it up. That's my leftover spaghetti sauce. I'm mixing up. Okay. That's going to be the stuffing into my cabbage rolls. Okay. Now... I'm going to do a little something different. I'm going to jazz it up. Like I said, I wanted to do some corn. Um, I wanted to do some corn when I did the spaghetti. But I was like, oh, don't feel like doing it. So I did do some Cajun corn. My Cajun corn. So I'm going to add my Cajun corn into my mixture to stuff my cabbage. How about that? And this is like the, the sweet kennel corn. Okay. I'm not going to add that much. Alright. So I have the leftover spaghetti sauce. And I added some rice. Okay. Added some corn now. And my corn is actually seasoned real good. It's like a Cajun style corn. Okay. And this is going to be the stuffing that we roll the cabbage with. Okay. We're going to have some cabbage rolls. Okay. All right. So what we have here is our cabbage in some salt water and we're going to bring it to a boil um, and we're just going to cook it until it's uh, withered so we can wrap use it as a wrap okay and since our um, our stuffing that we're going to stuff the cabbage rolls with it's pretty much already cooked um, all we want to do is boil this so it could wither. Then we, you know, drain it and roll our rolls. I'm going to put it in a, um, in a skillet and I'm going to saute it with a little bit of butter and a little bit of coconut oil. Give it some, some, um, some flavor. Okay. But right now I have this in salt water. So that's giving it a little flavor too. So I have it on high and it's going to start bubbling soon. So I'm waiting on it to start bubbling. But these are my cabbage leaves to roll my stuffing 
um, that I showed you uh, early on, which is my leftover spaghetti. Um, uh, my leftover spaghetti mix that I use for my spaghetti casserole, uh, my tomato sauce with the meat. And I also added some corn in there, you know, to jazz it up, you know, and then we're going to put it in to and wrap it in our cabbage. Okay. So this is just an easy meal. That's not going to take long at all because everything is already cooked. The spaghetti was cooked before, um, the corn. I just did that for like maybe 10 or 15 minutes. I put it in, in a pot, seasoned it up. You know, with my little spicy season, Cajun season and stuff and butter. Cook that. Let that cook. Cook my rice and with my rice cooker, which was a few seconds. It didn't take long at all. Because I'm cooking rice again. I'm cooking rice for my, for my pinto beans that I'll be doing later. So, I just used some of that rice. So, um, so I put the rice, the corn, and the spaghetti sauce together. Uh, the rice was still warm. The spaghetti sauce was cold, you know, because it's coming out the refrigerator. Um, so when I put the warm rice in there, it kind of warmed up the spaghetti sauce a little bit. So, um, once we get this, uh, cabbage to boil, um, we're going to boil it and once it withered. And then once we get that, uh, withered, we're going to wrap it and I'm going to show you the, you know, how I'm going to saute it in the skillet. And it shouldn't take long because everything is pretty much cooked. All we want to do is just like kind of get everything to stick together. Okay, now I know sometimes people put it in the oven or they steam it. I'm I'm actually going to try my hand with sauteing it in a skillet and hopefully it doesn't break up. Hopefully it stays together. So, like I said, I've never did cabbage rolls before, but I got an idea. Um, I was like, oh, you know what, let me take this leftovers and, and use that cabbage. And I was like, oh, well, I, you know, I could do some cabbage rolls. Okay, so as you can see, this is looking good. It's starting to sit in the water, and the water is starting to get hot to boil. Okay, so I would say maybe five minutes at the most. Let me put the um, timer on. Let me boil it for five minutes. And then take it out and start and see if I can roll it after that. Okay. So this is a quick um, way that you can use your leftovers. And like I said, I have it with a twist because my cabbage rolls will have corn in it. Normally corn is not put in cabbage rolls, but I'm actually putting corn in mine. Um, so you can try this. Um, I'm, I just know that it's going to be good. Um, the corn is really going to give it a, a different kind of flavor to it. It's really going to be good. So, um, this is just a little small, I mean, it's a way that you can, you know, reinvent your leftovers, you know? And, um, if you guys like this, go ahead and, you know, if y'all like this idea, just go ahead and uh, give me a thumbs up on the video. And, um... Let me know what you put in your cabbage rolls if you do try it, you know. Um, also, too, if you want to subscribe to my channel, please do. Because I'll be coming to you guys more often with more ideas that I think of that might be cool that to try. And, you know, to have your taste buds popping. So, you know, I'll keep you posted. And also, hit on the uh, bell at the bottom once you subscribe so you can always get my videos when I upload them. Okay. All right. So we got one more minute on the cabbage. And then we're going to start rolling them. Yeah, it's starting to wither so I can be able to roll it. You know, I have some cabbage at the bottom. Okay, let me turn them over. Turn the ones over. So the ones at the bottom don't overcook. Okay. Okay, so we're going to take these out. Okay. And 
and I'm putting it in a strainer as you can see now in my skillet I have a little coconut oil and a little butter going so I put one of the cabbage leaves in put a little meat in there and I'm gonna try to roll it okay I did the best roll that I could uh, do um, and I put a little toothpick in there <laughs> now, all he, now I'm gonna turn this on about six now as you can see I tried my best I didn't have no toothpicks I had uh, the long toothpick <clears throat> So, I try my best to roll it the best way I can. But, you know, if you have some toothpicks, it probably come out better. So, I'm about to put it on about... I got it on six. And all I wanted... Because the cabbage already cooked for five minutes, boiled. All I want to do is saute both sides. And then, it'll be ready for me to eat. But, it's already kind of already cooked. Um... So, I just wanted to kind of put everything together, okay? Let it uh, stick together, hopefully. Now, I really wanted to try some cheese on it, because I like cheese on pretty much everything, but I'm probably not going to do it. But, yeah. <laughs> and just to let you know, this stuffing is the bomb. The way we got it, the spaghetti, sauce, rice, and corn. So right now what we're doing, I have it on a low heat. I have it on five. And we're just going to saute it a little bit. Okay. And these are my versions of cabbage rolls and how you can use your leftovers. So I'm going to let it saute on each side for about five minutes. Okay. Hopefully it doesn't stick. I put some coconut oil in here too. So hopefully it don't stick. Um, I'm going to put it down to like four and a half. So what we're going to do, like I said, we're going to fry on both sides for five minutes. Then we're ready to eat. Okay. All right, it's coming along pretty good. Um, I actually fried it on one side for three minutes. And I guess I'm just going to fry it again on this side for three minutes. And then I'm going to be ready to roll with it. Because it, like, it looks like it's good already. Because like I said, everything was pretty much already pre-cooked. So you don't have to you know cook it for long bring that over there for you can guys can see it a little bit better but this is a perfect meal to revamp your leftovers um i had some leftover spaghetti sauce i made some corn and um i made some rice i put it all together mixed it together Put it in, um, boil, uh, boil some leaves of some cabbage and some salt water. Rolled my cabbage. And now I have some cabbage rolls. Mm. 
Looks good. I can't wait to try. Okay, I flipped it over again. Okay, and you see it's browning a little bit, which is good. I don't mind. So what I'm about to do right now is I'm going to go ahead and cut off the eye and let the eye cook it the rest of the way without, you know, overcooking it. So I just turn off the heat and I'm letting it cook in a skillet. So here's your cabbage rolls. I guess you can say sauteed cabbage rolls from leftover spaghetti sauce. You guys, like I said again, if you try it, tell me what you added. If you add some spinach or if you added something different to it uh, to make it your own. And um, let me know how it came out and how it tastes. Just know that, um, sorry about that. That was my timer. But just to let you know that my corn is well seasoned. Um, it's like a Cajun corn. I, I've, I've cooked that first and cooked the rice and put it all together. But I'm pretty sure this is going to be really, really good. Really, really good. I can't wait to try it. Okay, got a little brown on each side. Oh, this is going to be so good. Okay, thank you for watching. This is, this is a, quick, a, a pretty quick video. But thank you for watching. If you try, like I said, let me know how you liked it. And um, stay tuned for more videos from me. This is New Orleans Baby Girl, a.k.a. Beautiful Sunrise Williams. And um, thank you for watching and, you know, taking your time out. And watching my video. Hopefully you tried and you like it. And you guys. Have a nice day. And don't forget to subscribe. To my channel for more new videos.